Hi everyone, welcome to GD Coding. This is the second video in a video series where we are designing this animated header over here. So when we scroll down, we can see that uh, this header comes back with a different layout. And we also have a mobile version for our header. So here we have the menus and uh, here we have the search box. In the previous video, we had written the markup for uh, this page. So this is how it looks right now without any styling applied. So let's go to our code editor and uh, start styling our page. So here I have added the link of my style.css file in my HTML. So let's go to our style.css and uh, start styling the page. First of all, we will add some styling for everything. So here we will type star and inside that we will type padding 0, margin 0 and box sizing border box. Here we can see all the padding and margin has been removed. Now we'll set a font family for our body tag. So font family railway sans serif. So we had imported this font in our HTML in our previous video. So this is the link of our Google fonts. Now we'll give some styling for uh, all the paragraphs. So we will give it a margin of 24 pixels for top and bottom and uh, zero for the left and right. Now we'll apply some styling for our container. So here we will type container and we'll set the maximum width to 1200 pixels and a margin of zero auto so that uh, it will be centered on our page. So here we can see our container has been added and we have this max width of 1200 pixels. Now we'll style the header container. So it is this division right here. So I'll type header container. We'll set the position to absolute width of 100% margin top of minus 200 pixels transition of all to 0.4 seconds. Now we'll style the header element inside our header container. We'll set the margin top to 200 pixels. Now let's target our uh, header element. So we'll type header display of flex and flex direction of column. If you don't know about flex, I have a dedicated video on flex. I'll give the link in the description below. Now we'll target our heading class. So this class right here. So just type heading padding of 24 pixels box shadow of 0 0 and 24 pixels 0 pixels RGBA 0 0 0 and 0 0.5 and we'll also set the Z index to 1. Now we'll target the H1 inside the heading class. We'll set the padding to 0, 24 pixels. Now what we'll do is we will hide the mobile menu for now so that we can see the desktop menu clearly. Here we'll type mobile header display none and uh, even the mobile menu items now we'll apply some styling to our main element over here so that uh, we can see the header clearly so here i will just type main and uh, we'll type main over here we'll give it a padding of 180 pixels and 100 pixels 0 100 pixels and a line height of 2 we style the main img 
display block width of 100% margin of 0 auto and main h2 of padding 16 pixels and 0 now we'll continue with our header so here we will style the menu items we'll give it a background color of light gray we'll style the menu items container we'll set the display to flex justify content to space between padding of 24 pixels and 0 so here we can see we have this even space in between uh, these different elements now we'll style the ULs inside our menu item we'll set the display to flex and list style to none here we can see we have everything aligned in one line now we'll style the allies we'll give it a padding of 0 24 pixels now we'll style the anchor tags inside the menu items we'll set the color to black text decoration to none now we'll just remove this mobile search from here so here we will add one more thing search box mobile now let's style our search box over here search icon desktop we'll set the cursor to pointer so here we can see when we hover over it we have this different icon then we'll target the search box desktop We'll set the position to absolute right to 0 top to 67 pixels and opacity of 0 pointer events to none and transition of all to 0 0.4 seconds so what we are doing is uh, we are setting the position to absolute so that we can use this right and top properties and we can set the position as we want and we are setting the opacity to 0 and the pointer events means that we cannot interact with the element so let's go to our design and we cannot see the search box over here because we have set the position to absolute over here and we haven't set a position relative before that so it takes into account the position of the body so if we go into inspect if we'll go over here and uh, Here we can see our desktop and it is right here on the top right corner so we have to set it in relation to this container over here so let's go ahead and uh, over here we will add menu items container and we'll set position relative and here we can see our search box but we cannot click on it because we have set the pointer events to none so when we click on this uh, we want to set the pointer events to auto so that we can click on it and search for something i had set the opacity to one so that uh, we could see it right here now we'll style the input inside our search box desktop so we'll type search box desktop input of type text and we will set the height to 48 pixels width of 300 pixels border of none and the border bottom of 1 pixels solid light gray set a padding of 16 pixels font family of uh, 
railway and font size of 16 pixels so this is our search box we'll just remove our pointer events for now so that we can test it and uh, here we can see when we click on this we have this outline so we'll just remove it by typing search box desktop input type text focus and here we will set the outline to none so here when we click on it we don't have the outline now we'll just uncomment this and we'll also set the opacity to zero so in the beginning we cannot see the search box and when we click on this search icon we should see the search box so now we are done with one version of our uh, animated header so if you go to the original design we have the same over here now we'll start styling this uh, version where we have a different layout so for that we have to add uh, some classes to these elements so we'll go to our HTML and uh, we have to add some classes over here so first of all for the header container we have to add a class called fixed and uh, for the header we have to add a class called scrolled and for the search box we have to add a class called active so these are basically the three classes that we are going to add but we are going to be adding and removing these classes using javascript but just for testing we have added the classes right here so we'll go to our style.css and uh, here we'll go to header container and here we will type header container dot fixed we don't want to have any spaces in between because we want to target the elements with both these classes so here we will type position fixed so it will stay on the top and we'll set the margin top to 0 pixels because uh, we had set the margin to minus 200 pixels over here so we have to reset it over here we'll set the right to 0 left to 0 background of white and we'll also give a box shadow of 0 pixels 0 pixels 24 pixels 0 pixels and RGBA 0 0 0 and uh, 0 0.5 so here is our header now we also have to reset the margin top that we had given over here inside the header container so here we will type header container dot fixed and uh, then a space and then we will type header and we'll set the margin top to 0 pixels now we'll style the scrolled class with the header here is the header and uh, we have this scrolled class over here so here we'll type header dot scrolled and uh, this also we have without any space so we'll set the flex direction to raw justify content to space between max width and margin zero auto now we have to unset this box shadow from here so here we will type header dot scrolled and then we'll target the heading division inside that and we'll type box shadow unset so the box shadow has been removed now we'll target our h1 and we'll type header scrolled h1 and we'll set the font size to 18 pixels and we'll also set the padding to 0 now we'll style the menu items division so this one right here so we will type header scrolled dot menu items and we'll set the background to white now we will add a flex property to this heading and this menu item division so for the menu items we will type flex 3 and for the heading we will type 
flex one so here we can see they have these uh, spaces in between now i think that's it with this version of the header i will just uh, create a class for our active search bar so we'll go down over here and uh, here we will type search box desktop dot active and uh, we will type pointer events to auto and opacity to one so if you go over to our website we can see that we have our search box right here so i think that's it for uh, uh, this version of the animated header